How do I get the price of ETH in terms of US dollars inside my smart contract? If you're using a programming language like JavaScript, Python, Go, or Rust, this is an easy task. However, for our smart contract programming languages, this is an impossible task. In Solidity, there is no way to get the price of ETH in terms of US dollar, unless you use a price oracle. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a chain link price oracle to get the price of ETH in terms of US dollar inside this smart contract. The first thing that you'll have to do is import the price oracle interface from Chainlink. The interface that we need is called aggregator b3 interface, which you can import it by using this statement. Or for convenience, I've imported this interface and then just declared it here. Copied and pasted the interface over here. For this example, we're going to get the price of ETH in terms of US dollars. So we'll initialize the price feed inside the constructor. Here, I'm passing in the address of the price feed that is going to give me the price of ETH in terms of US dollar. This is a contract deployed on the mainnet. And where did I get this address from? Inside the chaining documentation, you'll be able to find all of the contract address that corresponds to their price feed. For this example, I copy the contract address over here, the ETH to USD price, but maybe you're interested in other price feed. For example, ETC to USD, then you will copy this address. Once we set the price feed, the only function that we'll need to call to get the actual price is to call latest round data, and the price will be returned as a second output answer. For this example, I've created a function called get latest price, which will get the latest price of ETH in terms of US dollars. We're gonna call the function latest round data on the price feed, and we're gonna extract the second output, which is the price. Before we return the price, we will need to divide this by 10 to the 8. This is because the price that you see over here is scaled up by 10 to the 8. So to get the actual price in terms of US dollars, we need to scale it down by 10 to the 8. Divide it by 10 to the 8. And how do I know that I need to divide this by 10 to the 8? Inside the documentation of Chainlink, you can see here the number 8. This means that this price is scaled up by 10 to the 8. And this is how you use the Chainlink price oracle to get the price of beef inside the smart contract. Let's run a demo. As usual, we'll first run the ganache on the main network. So we'll load up the environment variable by typing source.emb and then pasting the command to run ganache on the main network. Once Ganache is running, I'll open another terminal to run the actual script. The command to type is first, we're going to need to load up the environment variable again. So we'll type emb dollar sign parentheses cat dot emb mpx truffle test. The network is mainnet fork. And the name of the script that we're going to be running is called test test chainlink.js and the answer we get back is that the price of beef in terms of US dollar is $4,201. Chainlink price oracles are easy to use inside a smart contract. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and see you later.